This video will help you in understanding Adherence Dashboard in the Nikshay portal. At first, you have to log into the Nikshay portal using relevant credentials. Click on Nikshay Dashboard on the left hand side menu. Nikshay Dashboard homepage appears. Click on the option for Adherence. This dashboard provides the adherence statistics of all the patients who were enrolled on various digital adherence tech like MOM, 99 dots, etc. The first level of dashboard shows five aspects summary view, geographic view, table view, analysis, and profile. The data shown in these sections are based on the login that one is using. The data shown will be different for different district or TU logins. Under Summary View, it allows us to choose from different filters Region, District, TBU, Distribution, Cohort Period, etc. This dashboard mainly has five sections All Patients, All DAT, 99 Dots, Mom, and Vote. For now, let's stay on All Patients. First, select the region of your choice. The next step is to select the district. In the drop down for TB unit, you can either select any one unit or select the option of all TB unit. The next drop down allows you to select the distribution type, public or private. Now select the PHI. The next step is to select the cohort period. You can select either of the cohort options, notification cohort and calendar month. Notification cohort will display the list of all patients notified in the selected time period. Calendar month will display the list of all patients who were on adherence technology for the selected time period. The Advanced Filter field allows you to select options for drug resistance, HIV status, site of disease, treatment status and gender. For drug resistance, there are three options, all, DSTB and DRTB. For HIV status, there are four options, all, reactive, non-reactive and unknown. Next, select the site of disease. Here. Three options are present, all, pulmonary and extra pulmonary. Then select the treatment status. There are three options, all, on treatment and outcome assigned. The last drop down is to select the gender. Once you have selected all the filters, click the apply button. Once you click the apply button, four different graphs are displayed. The first graph is titled Adherence Monitoring Method. This chart provides us with a summary of how many patients were assigned to each of the digital adherence technologies out of the patients notified and initiated on treatment during the selected period. The second graph is titled Average Adherence. The average adherence pie chart provides the percentage of treatment days where the patients notified and initiated on reported a dose manually or digitally. This metric is the average of patient wise values. The third graph is titled Adherence Cascade. The adherence cascade illustrates gaps in patients' engagement based on manual and digital doses for all patients notified and initiated on treatment during the period. The successive levels indicated are initiated treatment patients in cohort, reported at least one dose taken, reported at least 50% of doses taken, and reported at least 80% of doses taken. The last graph is titled Adherence Breakup. A patient's adherence breakup is the percentage of treatment days reported taken digitally, reported taken manually, 
unreported and reported missed for all patients notified during the period and initiated on treatment. This graph shows the average of patient-wise values. All these reports are shown under the All Patients tab present at the top of the page. If you want to look at the data for specific adherence methods, then you can shift the tabs above. In the All DAT tab, there are four graphs. The first one is titled Adherence Monitoring Method. The second graph is titled Average Adherence and Digital Adherence. It has two donut charts. The first one shows the average plus digital adherence percentage and the second one shows only the digital adherence percentage. The third graph is titled Adherence Cascade and Digital Adherence Cascade. Here, you will find two options to select from. Adherence Cascade based on manual and digital doses and Digital Adherence Cascade based on digital doses. When you select Adherence Cascade based on manual and digital doses, the graph will show you the results for both manual and digital adherence. If you select Digital Adherence Cascade based on digital doses, then you will only find the result for digital doses. The digital adherence is the number of days the patient reported digitally on any digital adherence tool divided by the number of days they were assigned to a DAT. The other tabs have similar graphs for different adherence technologies. This completes the process of understanding adherence dashboard summary view.